Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I store my hiking and backpacking gear. If you are new here, welcome to the Hike Oregon channel. I make hiking and backpacking videos as well as gear reviews and just general tips and tricks videos to help you become a more confident hiker and backpacker. If you enjoy content like that, click that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified every time I make a new video. And if you want more content from me, you can always support me over on Patreon where for as little as just $1, you get two extra videos a month. So it might surprise you guys that I actually don't have a lot of hiking and backpacking gear. I have tried out quite a bit of gear over the years and stuff that I use on a regular basis, I do keep. I am not the kind of person that collects 50 day hiking backpacks and 20 backpacking backpacks and I have 17 sleeping bags and a million sleeping pads. I try to make sure that all of my gear has a purpose and does get used for different reasons. If I don't use it or if I have a duplicate of a gear item, I usually give it away to someone that needs it or I will sell it on Facebook Marketplace or over on my Instagram. Now that I've been hiking and backpacking regularly for 10 years, I just don't try out a ton of new gear unless it's sent to me for review or something of that nature or I need some sort of a new item. Just because over the years I've really found my core gear and that's just what I use. Now, of course, sometimes you use a gear item to death and then uh, they don't make that gear item anymore. That brand goes out of business or something happens and then I'm in a position where I have to try out new stuff. That's kind of where I'm at with my trail runners, but as far as other gear items, I have pretty much found what I love for different situations. And so that's why I just don't have a lot of gear. I know you guys think I would probably have a ton more gear, but that's just not the case. Let's get into the video where I'm gonna show you how I store my hiking and backpacking gear. I got a cheap clothing rack for like 15 bucks and decided to hang all of the stuff that needed to be hung. Down sleeping bags, you're not supposed to leave them stored in the stuff stacks. I have my Sea to Summit sleeping bag and then my Outdoor Vitals quilt hanging there. And then I have my summer day pack, the yellow one here, the Gregory Citro small day pack. Then I have my Outdoor Vitals backpacking pack there, and then my Osprey Aura pack here. And then hanging here at the end, I have a little pack from Waymark gear that I actually don't use a lot for hiking. I use it more for traveling when I go on trips in the airport and stuff like that. And it's perfect traveling pack as well as a great hiking pack. So it doubles as a two in one. If I'm going on like a vacation where I'm not just hiking, this is a great two in one pack to take. And then down here, I just have stored my get out gear puffer blanket. I have a Thermarest Z light and then um, a camp chair from REI. And then over there, you see my bear canister. So I have those things kind of stored, tucked in down there because they did not fit in the storage I'm about to show you. And here's the rest of my storage. Like I said, I really don't have a lot of stuff and only this one and that drawer are backpacking and hiking gear. Uh, this is all office supplies. And then down here we have the hiking gear. So in this drawer, I basically just have all my food items, backpacking food, have some outdoor herbivore, some stowaway gourmet meals, some peak refuel, had some snacks and just various lighters and my fuel. This is my little fuel consolidator. If you didn't see my video on that, it's pretty neat. And then I have my cook pot with a stove and everything in there my food bag and my titanium spork. And then here I just store some extra tuna packets. 
I have some sports beans and some honey stinger chews. Here is my CS Instant Coffee stash. If you are not aware, CS Instant Coffee is my favorite coffee for the trail. So that is what is in there. I was wrong. I have three drawers of backpacking gear here. Here I just have my electronics ditty bag, my toiletries first aid kit, um, the little bag I store my sleeping bag or quilt in. Then I have my water filter, outdoor vitals, booties, and balaclava. And then here is my clothes bag that I put all of my backpacking clothes. So a lot of my hiking and backpacking clothes are the same. So I just have those in my like regular clothes drawer where um, when I go on day hikes, I can choose clothes from there. But there are certain things like the hat and like my sun shirts and stuff that I don't wear day hiking necessarily. Sometimes I wear this in the summer, but it's mainly for backpacking. And so I keep that in here. Then I have some just random things. I have an extra deodorant. I have some Sawyer permethrin, air horn for bears. I have some Sawyer insect repellent, some Purell, and this is a backpack cover for rain, some tiny playing cards, <laughs> and then this is my mosquito head net. And then last but not least is this drawer where I have all of like the big bulky items. So I have my big Agnes Copper Spur tent, and then these are the poles and stakes down here. This is my outdoor vitals tent. This is a super lightweight little one person tent. Uh, my Thermarest Neo Air. I have my Thermarest Pro Light Apex. This is my X Ped sleeping pad. And this is an outdoor vital sleeping pad. So I have way more sleeping pads than I probably should. This one is by far my favorite. So um, I should probably get rid of some of these because I really will not use that many sleeping pads. I have my camp pillow, and then I have the Thermarest um, sleeping bag liner that adds like 15 degrees of warmth, so that's handy to have. And then as far as day hiking gear, I basically just keep it all in my coat closet. So I have my current day hiking pack. Um, you know, I have my hiking shoes down here. I have my like bag that is basically ready to go for hiking and then I have various coats that like I don't take on every trip so I have like a Gore-Tex jacket my synthetic puffy another rain jacket like just random jackets that I don't take on every trip all the jackets that I take on every hike are in here so if I need something extra then I take one of these but that's pretty rare they're usually just all in here or they're already in my car so that is where I keep all of my current day hiking things. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Comment down below if you have any video ideas that you'd like me to do over the next few months while I'm more at home and doing less car camping and backpacking trips just because it is winter. If you don't already, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. That's where I post all of my hiking and backpacking adventure pictures. And if you want to hike and backpack here in this amazing state of Oregon, check out my website, hikeoregon.net, and you'll find tons of information there as well as have access to all of the hiking guidebooks that I've written over the years. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next adventure.